Okay, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Supernatural. Best TV show. Don't care what anybody says. Number one. It's got nothing to do with that show, though, so it doesn't really matter. What is this game? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not sure. My wife recommended this game. Here's the comment. Comment might not actually be here because it was in a video a while ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making your job harder. Shame, my bad. A job pays. <laughs> My wife watched Dashie play this game and she enjoyed it a lot, so she wanted me to play this game. I haven't seen most of it. I saw like little bits and pieces. Don't really remember what he was doing or what it was. When I opened the game, it told me it listens to my microphone and that I'm gonna have to do stuff based on that. And I can talk to it. There's like phrases like, are you here? And can you stop or do something? Something like that. Something to do with ghosts and I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but we're getting right into it. <laughs> Where's your face? That case. What's that noise? What's the dog? Your genius. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. Hey, no problem, man. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, the dog died. No, never mind. I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Why is his face gone? Tell me. What's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan. Like I mentioned in the evening, the lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, what? she disappeared, gone. Who did? Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Uh huh. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. She has Alzheimer's, it's fine. She freaked out Kaylee. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. That's not her fault. Just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Right. Can you look into it, detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. Is that Bashka? She can be one noisy little girl sometimes. That's okay. I understand, Colton. Can I pet Bashka? I love dogs. And I'll start an investigation right away. Yeah, I bet. Do your thing. Go away. I, I don't give a shit about you. And about the money? Don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two. Right? Absolutely, detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything. Hey! Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents. Why are we ignoring these noises? Give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. What? <laughs> How are we just gonna have a normal conversation with that that happening? Oh my god, what are these controls even? Okay, okay, begin your investigation by searching for clues. Okay, we're searching. Hello, hello, are you there? So this is like phasmophobia, which is horrifying. To open or close the door, drag the door with the mouse or the right stick of the controller. What door? Oh, that one. I see. It's a little janky. Turn lights on and off using switches. The mirror doesn't work so well. Collectible? No. There's... There's a lot of noises already that I'm not, uh... Is that me? Ugh. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm scared already. That's, um, we're kind of starting quick here. Okay, I like that. More light. Lighted. Oh my god, that was my dog! Ugh. It's fine. 
I forgot that pausing doesn't do anything in this game. So that's great. That's awesome. Does this just lead around? Okay, it does. Another bedroom with ultrasounds. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. How, sound of a child. how long do I have to Probably wait? The client's fiance. When, why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? I don't know. That's creepy. I guess that's the way. Like, am I in the middle of a freaking hurricane? Is this life is strange and Arcadia Bay is getting torn to pieces? Make your home among friends. Oh, okay. There's a lot of noises, man. Like, a lot of noises that I'm not a fan of. What are these? What's happening here? Hello? Are you friendly? Do something. Oh, I don't want to do that. There's another toy right there. There's another toy right there. Not now. <laughs> you don't have to talk to me directly. That's the stairs. Another toy. Is this a clue? Oh, it is. Stars. Weird symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. It might. Keep that light on. We have no light here because I didn't flick a light switch. I have a flashlight. I've had a flashlight this whole time. That light was on before, was it not? Man. I'm on edge. I'll turn them all on. Gladly. Clues? Any clues? Okay. Horrifying drawing. The child victim? God, please, no. That's a nice painting. Is there a clue in here? Oh. Final notice. I can relate. Oh, boy. We got a bathroom. Another toy. Anything in the bathroom, bathtub. Got lots of toilet paper they stocking up for COVID and whatnot. Can I get a light switch in this room? Another toy. This toy's gotta mean something. Folded laundry. Stuff. Oh wait, the light went off in the kitchen. Light switch? What is happening? I don't like that lights were switching off by themselves. Because I had this light on. All the hairs on my head are standing up. What just happened? Did another light switch on? Are off. There's a noise in here.
There's something going on in there. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. And I'm sweating. Let me check the computer again. I shouldn't touch his personal stuff. Why not though? You know, cause why not? Because we've checked everything. You know what? Stop being a pussy. Nothing's happened so far. Maybe nothing's gonna happen. I feel like I probably need to find all of the evidence and like stuff to search to figure out, you know, what's what. Anything else to look? God, uh, you don't have to do that. Okay. So what do you want? And the light went out. Are we saying that lights only stay on for a certain amount of time? Like, I'm terrified, but also fucking nothing is happening. Oh, something? Okay. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue oh for my $95,331. God. Jeez. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment. You ain't going to lose your house. To avoid any further complications. <clears throat> your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact No problem. About their financial situation. Yeah, it's bad. Financial situation bad. Either hasn't been home in a long time or just doesn't clean. The ultrasound. Okay, can't go outside. Probably a good idea in the hurricane. <clears throat> what else is there really to find out, you know? I know what, so there's going to be fuses, obviously. We have to put them a certain way. That's clear. All the lights go out on their frickin' frackin' own. Two hours again, I'm out. Login. Right, password. Hey, Kaylee, if you forget your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house and I've labeled the boxes with all the login. With your login and password, first is the chicken ski, then the cow ski, followed by the rabbit ski. Penultimate for the login is the shark ski, and lastly, lastly the cat ski. Password starts with the fish ski. Then a teddy ski and a robot ski, and the last one, the cool ski, and finally the clown ski. Have a blast, sweetheart. So the autosave just occurred. this I don't like it at all you have to memorize that a G or a nine 
I honestly, this is I'm fucked. So we gotta find all the things while also trying to be kind of quiet because whatever that thing was needs to not come again. Horrible. Five. I'm sorry, did anybody see that? Fish ski is zero. Gold ski is one. I feel like my guy walks around like very heavy footedly, and I don't like that at all. Rabbit ski two. I think a door in my house just opened and it scared me. Shark ski six. What was rabbit ski? I think rabbit ski was two, right? Oh, are you friendly? Are you there? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Robot 4. I don't know how many there are. heart is going to explode and I'm gonna die. <sighs> Thank God, end that. Babe, is Kaylee home? You sound so and look weird. I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Wait, I'm pretending? Okay. I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, man, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. Yeah, I'm not the person you think you're talking to. Come over. Do it. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susanne is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, <laughs> it's just not a good night, and I need to take it easy. Catch up some other time. You're gonna get broken sure, up with. You're not fooling me. Right. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out. Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go, man. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. Yeah, no kidding. Now I have to giggle. Internet sucks. Switch cameras with previous and next buttons. Use night vision with night vision button. What's next? Oh boy. This is not fun. The dog's awake. Where's the dog?
Well, that sucks. Turn your flashlight off, you idiot. She knows you're looking at her. Because she's looking at you, looking at her, looking at you. What's... What's the goal here? Do we want to go get the dog, or... I don't know what to... I gotta go find the dog, I'm guessing. Are you here? on the computer to search for text clues you found. Crawler. Hello? Are you here? Can we be chill? Oh, why does he gotta sit down so loudly? You could sit down quieter, maybe you won't die. Remembering... Trying to read. If you could quiet it down, that'd be that'd be great. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler, a, lo a tragic loss sparks a community's reflection on mental health. On July 15, 2020, a small town Greenfield, Pennsylvania, was the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, it was rocked by a tragedy that left its residents in shock and mourning. 80-year-old uh, Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life uh, by hanging herself in a tree in her backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of the community. Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She volunteered at the local senior center, <clears throat> where she spent countless hours uh, knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler, Ms. Crawler struggled to, with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She'd been receiving treatment in those conditions, but it seemed that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay, to pay tribute to her life. Many spoke of how much she meant to them, how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who knew her best. While there's no easy answer as to why someone would take their own life, it's clear that mental health Struggles can affect anyone regardless of age or circumstances. Hope that through Ms. Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. That is sad. Okay. I'm just going to shit my pants. That's what's about to happen. Go! Oh! Hi. Are you there? Can we be friends? is happening. Ooh, ooh. 
from now on, my... You know, start communicating with Are you there? Are you here? Oh, hi. Okay. Colton, it's me again. Hi. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? Okay. I need to tell you something. Listening. So, I did some digging online. Yep. And guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be I exact. know. She's right behind me right now. I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see her this whole fucking time? Something is Why did you right see her? It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Dead serious, huh? <laughs> Clever wordplay. She's right behind me. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was in front of that. Just... Okay, I'm sorry. Is this an acceptable volume for you? My palms are sweating. Knees weak. Mom's spaghetti. I didn't. No. Why do you do that? Stop. Oh, I just realized I was being loud. Where's the dog? <gasps> You're the worst. You know that? The actual worst. friendly just no all around
I don't know if I'm... Jesus Christ! I... Yep. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm like dead dead, I think. Okay, I think I get a couple of warnings and then she murders me. Jesus Christ! Wait, I got away from him. I don't know what was happening. Did I die? I'm gonna be honest, don't really understand how to play the game. Hey, how about this? Go fuck yourself. Um, you silence. You silence. How about that? Quiet first. You be quiet first. I'm over it, and I'm done with you. Yeah, come and get it. Hush, hush, your damn self. Don't shush me. I'll talk as much as I want. Okay? How about that? You with your s Shut up! Stupid bitch. <laughs>
I don't know if I'm just getting extremely lucky right now. I don't know if I've just managed to avoid her the entire time or if I'm just quiet, everything will be fine. I am still terrified. My hands have never been quite so moist ever, ever, ever in my entire life. It's also very hot in this room, but it's fine. I'm dialed in, killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. This bitch just waiting. Like, look at her. Just they're like, that's fucking rude. I do have that. because it's going to kill me anyways. A hero shares bravery 40 years since the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, the, there exists a story <clears throat> of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirit of heroism in the hearts of Greenfield res residents. It was a chilly autumn night, and his local family was abruptly awakened by the piercing sound of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance uh, was their neighbor's house, now consumed by an inferno and threatened to, to devour everything in its path. The family 
Uh, trapped inside, faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received the distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not as an observer, but as a rescuer determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an, orphan, an orange glow against the darkened sky, night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling for help from an upper floor window, undeterred by the intensity of the blaze. Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging uh, around them, the sheriff and the firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the burning structure. As the first responders battled the inferno, Sheriff Holton equipped uh, with a protective suit charged in the smoke-filled building, guided only by the distant cries of the family. He navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination. Finally reaching the upper floor, Sheriff Holton discovered the family huddled together in a, in a room rapidly succumbing to the encroaching flames. Uh, the urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them towards the window, the only possible exit. Amidst the chaos, Sheriff, Holt, Sheriff, Sheriff Holton <laughs> maintained an air of calm and reassurance, urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated their descent to safety. One by one, he carefully lowered them down with the help of a makeshift rope, ensuring that their escape from the clutches of the relentless fire. The heroic rescue concluded with the family safely reunited on the ground, and Sheriff Holton emerged from the inferno, unscathed but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero, and the events of that fateful night solidified his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Robert Holton continues to inspire generations that heroism displayed on that autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience, echoing through the quaint streets of Greenfield as a testament to the indomitable spirit of one extraordinary sheriff. Well, I'll be done. What's going on here? I'm Detective White. Just conducting an investigation. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? I mean... Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. You're the one ringing the doorbell in the middle of the night. ...who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Because she's still alive. Sheriff, or not. She's a ghost. these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned. And they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. I'm just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? Yeah, no. I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why I still now? don't understand why their faces why are blurred. Why all over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. And right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? I'll try. Don't need I'll the whole do my town best. up in arms over some ghost story.
My apologies, viewers. This took him a while. So long, in fact, that I took the liberty of cutting the struggle train out for your guys' sanity. You're welcome. The editor. This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. out of gotcha what are you what are you you're a shitty detective just never taken this case dumbass What do you even mean? Twist of fate, Detective Wyatt's pursuit of justice met a tragic end at the hands of Sheriff Robert Holton. The very person entrusted with upholding the law had succumbed to the darkness within, silencing Wyatt forever. As the flames consumed the house where Susan and her family once lived, Wyatt's body was consumed too, buried in the ashes along with the truth of his innocence. Sheriff Holton's heinous act ensured that his own monstrous deeds remained hidden, shrouded in the smoke and flames of the burning home. Shut up. Despite Wyatt's unwavering dedication to uncovering the truth, his efforts were thwarted, thwarted by the very system meant to protect and serve. Now with his demise, the full extent of Sheriff, Holton, Sheriff Holton's depravity, depravity would remain buried forever lost to the depths of darkness. Man, it's a good game. It actually is a really good game. The scares were really good, especially earlier on. I mean, they obviously wore off after a while. Like any game, you kind of get used to it. As long as you're not really making a ton of noise, she's not really coming after you. But uh, that was a really good game. I'm really sad that I died. He took like 50 fucking shots. What am I supposed to do? I just kept shooting him. It's impossible to aim in this game. It's so like wavy. You like move your mouse a little bit and he just sways all the way. Ah, oh, I really want to play it and beat it. I thought for sure there was going to be something to do with all those plants because there was like basil and there was time with the sign that fell behind it or something. I might replay it off camera and maybe I'll just re-record just the end of it. My PC and camera are lagging like crazy. It's crazy hot in here right now. So if it's a little janky, I apologize. It's like 80 degrees and literally 80 degrees. It's hot. It's, it's really freaking hot. And my CPU is at like 55 degrees right now, which is also not good. 
Um, but I really enjoyed the game. Chelsea, thank you for recommending it. I appreciate it. Thank you, my dear. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please do leave a like on the video, subscribe, share it with a friend, do all of those things. I know this is a longer video. I appreciate you. Anybody who's here right now watching, you are a real one. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for everybody for all the support that you're giving on the videos. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>